your girl Nicole Jackson. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. We have some newness for you guys and it's going to be one of my favorites. I haven't done a review at all, I don't think. So this will be my first review and I'm going to be running down my favorite Yves Saint Laurent espadrilles. I'm going to tell you specifically why I chose that designer over other ones. Um, if you're looking into espadrilles, which is going to be, of course, the trend for spring and summer, this should be super informative to you guys and why I chose that specific designer over the other ones. But before we even start, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. If you are new to my channel, I again am Nicole Jackson. I mix a little street and chic style, okay? <laughs> As you see, I have on my street style today, but I love to mix a little masculine and feminine vibes together. So if that is your taste, make sure you hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Also, make sure to like and comment this video. Again, this is my first review and I'm gonna tell you why I specifically brought this. So I hope it is helpful for you guys for when you are making your purchases, um, you know what to expect and what to look for and you walk in there with a little bit more knowledge than I did. So again, comment down at the bottom, let me know if this is the videos that you like to see and we'll do a little bit more. Lastly, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Nicole Jack, okay? First of all, I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers, I help your girl out, okay? And follow me on Instagram because I want to connect with you all during quarantine season. As you see, I'm home with my son, you'll probably hear him in the background, so excuse you know the disruption or he ain't a disruption but excuse that okay but i want to connect with you guys okay make sure you follow me on instagram if you're not hit to my instagram too i've been doing cold quarantine quips where we're doing ig live tours of dope styles um in their closets this is super fun it's been so much fun to do um so make sure you follow me on instagram so you can see some dope styles and closet tours of your favorite people on ig okay all right guys, let's get right into this video. Before we even um, start the reasons why I chose East and Laurent, let me go ahead and show you how it comes in the boxing and everything. As you know, we love East and Laurent over here, okay? <laughs> Keep the shopping bag, okay? It is clearly my taste, um, and this is what the box comes in, the standard East and Laurent box. And when you get the box of course it comes with the wrapping and it'll come on top with um just the little card that holds your um how much you pay for it so if you see it at the bottom you already know and then i also just have um my candle care with the leather and then your authenticity too um so this is super helpful um again with taking care of your leather you guys if you have purses i used to work in retail with purses and shoes so again if you want to take care of leather there are specific ways that you need to and it's very very important that you read the handling or the care or even when to wear your shoes and when to not i'll go into that a little bit later but this is what comes with it and then it comes with the wrapping and as you see take the wrapping out it comes with dust bags for each of the shoe so for your left and the right foot the standard Easton Amal dust bag and it also comes with paper to keep your shoe shape I always if I have any type of shoes I keep the paper or the inserts just to keep the shape of the shoe again it's very important you do that too um but this is what it looks like i got it in the black leather i just needed a classic one for my first pair so um i got the black leather one and yes you guys i love this shoe um and let's go ahead and go into the reasons why i chose easy lamont over the other designers all right guys so when choosing espadrilles um or when choosing my espadrilles there were three designers that i have in mind and of course it's chanel Yves Saint Laurent and Gucci okay again I told you guys I love Yves Saint Laurent they are the perfect combination of masculine and feminine vibes that's very much what I epitomize so um Yves Saint Laurent was already a little bit more higher on my list to check out especially because I already had knowledge about it but again when buying any designers you know the queen of all queens okay is Chanel this um this right here is a Chanel um poster right here so again you already know Chanel okay if you go anywhere you get Chanel 
but um you are you also know that chanel comes with the price tag it's going to be way more expensive than the other designers you're going to get so when evaluating what i wanted i knew right off the bat that i was not going to resell my espadrilles so this is very important think to yourself are you going to resell your espadrilles because um technically with me i don't want to purchase a resell espadrille and i don't want to sell mine i want to i want it to be a life long relationship with my espadrilles okay because i'm going to be wearing them constantly and i do wear them constantly so for me i didn't really care about it retaining its value okay so that went ahead and uh, knocked chanel off my list so think to yourself is it going to retain value um do you want it to retain its value if not you necessarily don't have to get chanel it's not that important now if you want the fact to say i have chanel espadrilles then get that but for me i wanted to get something that was a little bit more less expensive um but also was the same good quality okay and i didn't really have to i, I really didn't care about it retaining its value so um that's the number one reason why chanel was um, like automatically knocked off my list so that left east and around in gucci so just to recap number one the reason why i didn't go with chanel was because i didn't care about its value the second reason why i picked east and around over gucci now is because after visiting both stores in tyson's and seeing the styles Gucci was way more flashier than what my taste is and what I wanted in the espadrille. So I went to Tyson's Galleria, which I think is Galleria, but Tyson's uh, Galleria, which is the more high-end uh, Tyson's mall in Virginia, if you're located in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. And um, they have an East Saint Laurent and a Gucci store that are on the same level. I went there already knowing that um, I wanted to try on both just to see how it was gonna go. I, again, I was leaning more towards the East Saint Laurent, but I wanted just to see, you know, what my options were with these two. So as I went to Gucci and I saw the style of it, it was definitely not for me and what I wanted in my espadrille. Number one, it came with the Gigi Gold um, hardware, which I'll post right here. And it's just way a little bit more flashier than my taste. It was gonna match with, I already had the Gigi belt, um, the Gigi logo belt. And honestly, I just didn't wanna be matchy matchy. And I don't need everyone to know that I have on a Gucci shoe. Like I don't, I didn't really need that. And then I also didn't like the print on the espadrille. It just wasn't very much classic. It has that, um, that um, it has that sewn print in there um, with the, it has that like, so, like a sewn print in there in the leather, which I just did not like. I, I did not want that. So after trying that on and just seeing it in person, it was just way too flashier for me. So that was the number two reason why I just went ahead and was like nope it ain't gucci let's go ahead and head to the saint laurent store right, so after going to saint laurent i knew i made the right choice when narrowing down to the saint laurent espadrilles um i just wanted the great leather that was still offered in the espadrilles like chanel but i also didn't want it to be as flashy as you see it has that uh ysl logo to it but it's very much like you know back it up you can't really even tell it's a ysl logo and that is you know that is what i loved about it i know you know if you come closer you see that i'm wearing designer but you don't necessarily have to know and i don't have to flash it to you that i'm wearing designer and it was still very much affordable too um the price was amazing for it and honestly it's a shoe that i wear so much so so much whether i'm dressing girly or dressing boyish i'm going to church i'm going to a class i'm going to pick up my son i need to just slip some shoes on to the grocery store they are the most comfortable shoes to wear i cannot stress enough how much of a great everyday shoe the east saint laurent espadrille is all right guys so now that i gave you my reasons of why i chose the east saint laurent espadrille i'm just going to give you some quick tips to know when you purchase them and you know taking care of them number one most important thing again i already touched on it before was to read um the care of the leather but in the care of the leather it says do not wear in the rain do not wear your espadrilles in the rain I got caught in the rain in them and I really feel like it kind of made the leather a little bit more 
uh, looser than tight. Like when I first had them, they were like tight and new and didn't have the creases. I wore them in the rain and sis, okay? They didn't look like fresh out the box again. And I cannot stress to you, do not wear them in the rain. They will mess up the leather, okay? And it will just feel super weird on your feet. It will feel uncomfortable. Do not wear your espadrilles in the rain. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Secondly, I also wanna touch on the East Saint Laurent sizing. Now going in, I wear a size 10, so I was looking to wear a size 10. But honestly, I did not get a size 10. I got a size 39, which I wanna say the 39 is the, the nine. And I tried on, I tried on the tens, they were way too big. Tried on the nine and a half, they were way too big. And then end up getting the nines which fit perfectly so again um watch out for the sizing with the espadrilles too don't go if you're ordering online it's definitely not a good look go to the store and try them on and see what the sizing is to your feet because it may be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller um again i went you know completely two sizes down so make sure you go into the store and um, try on the espadrille before you purchase them somewhere else. Because since if you're gonna, you know, order them online and then you get home and they're wrong, you're gonna have to go back to the store anyway and try it on to get the right size. So that leads me to the third point, which is make sure you call the store um, and let them know what you want and what you're looking for before going there. So when I went to the East Saint store, the way they hold their inventory is a lot of their stuff um some of their stuff is down in the is down in their store but then they also have a storage like on another level of the mall so they would have to keep running up and down and up and down each time the espadrille didn't fit so when i got the 10 they ran up and got the 10 then that didn't fit ran up and got the nine and a half that didn't fit ran up and got the nine so make sure you call the store and let them know what size you wear and the possibilities that that size is too big to also pull the smaller sizes so they're not running back and forth now again this is just for my tyson's location it may be different at yours but it is a disclaimer to make sure you go ahead and pull the size that you need okay before going to the store so that you go there everything is already pulled out the um Salespeople at East Saint Laurent, of course, at any designer store, they're always super helpful. So it would just make such a difference to call ahead and hold those shoes for you to try on. Lastly, my last tip that I would give um, when getting a espadrille is, or any type of espadrille, honestly, is to do what I do and make sure you try on all your options. I narrowed it down to the three designers that I wanted and then from there narrowed it down to my one. And it's nothing like seeing it in person like I did that makes you decide whether you wanna invest in one thing or another. So I 100% made the best choice for me and most affordable choice for me. It's one of those things where I'm so happy with the purchase I made and I do not regret it at all. And I'm honestly thinking about getting a new pair of the YSL espadrilles because again, I wear them so much. But I will tell you, you don't necessarily have to get the Saint Laurent. That was just my choice in my opinion, but make sure you try on all your options before narrowing it down. That's very important. See what's your style, what you can wear with everything. Um, you know, if you're gonna be wearing silver sometimes, you don't necessarily need to get the Gucci ones because it has that gold hardware so really just go into the store try it on realistically see what's for your price point what's for your style and then honestly what just fits you as a person and then from there you can narrow down what espadrille is right for you but I in no way regret getting this Saint Laurent espadrilles these are the perfect summer even fall shoe to wear I wear these so so much so much they're like the perfect shoe again um i don't regret these at all and i would re recommend them honestly to anyone who's getting an espadrille if you don't want to get something as expensive as chanel get the next up which is the saint laurent espadrille all right guys i want to thank you so much for watching this video again i hope it was super helpful i know it was kind of basic but if you're getting espadrilles this season um i know that a lot of fast fashion stores sell espadrilles but they're a lot more flimsy and I recommend you getting a great designer espadrille that will last you such a long time and great leather and all like it's just 
just an everyday piece. So I hope this was some very much helpful for you guys. Again, if you have the YSL Espadrille, comment down below. Let me know how much you love it like your girl does, okay? Or if you prefer the Chanel or Gucci ones, let me know down at the bottom too. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button, connect with your girl, follow me on Instagram at Nicole Jack, and I will see you in another video. Love you guys. Bye.